Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm Amanda. So tonight is Boggy Creek uh, blanket update videos. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate every single one of you, and thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. Um, so if you do not know what Boggy Creek is, uh, I will run over it for just a second. Boggy Creek is a organization here in Florida. I believe it's in Eustace, which is by Disney. Um, they work with sick children, um, like sick children with very like hardcore diseases um, that normally couldn't go to camp. Uh, the camp was funded by, or founded <laughs> by General Shorskoff and Paul Newman uh, back in the 90s, I believe, um, so that kids could go there. It is free for them and their families, um, and they get to have the camp experience, which I think is amazing. Um, I heard about this through Nancy as she's got yarn too. Um, her mom works with a women's group here in Florida, or volunteers with a women's group here in Florida, and last year they were doing a blanket drive that rolled over to this year. So I did make a blanket last year, I was not able to send it in, long story short. <laughs> uh, I just didn't get a chance to. But luckily for me, they pushed it into this year. So, do you guys are ready? I have another finished blanket. The other one is, you know, stashed away, waiting to be sent at the end of the year. Um, and I have another one finished. I did show it on Made It Monday, but I will still show it here. Because <laughs> I think some people just watch this video. Which is fine. I'm cool about that too. Um... And if you guys, if you guys don't mind, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It means so much to us, or to me. <laughs> well, us YouTubers, but it does, it does mean a lot, you know. Let's us know that you like it. Anyways, so the finished blanket. Now my lighting is a little bit off because I'm in the spare bedroom, and I did not bring the ring light in with me. I just have the light above me, so I do apologize. The lighting is a bit off, but hey, what can you do, right? So this one, whoop, I dropped it. So that is the blanket. They wanted 35 to 40 wide and 40 to 50 long. This is Tunisian Entrelac. The colors I used were uh, Mainstays Yellow. And then these colors are um, Red Heart Super Saver Color Block. It is variegated but also has blocks of color. So there you see the pink. And then here you see the teal color, the dark blue, then the pink. Um, and like I said, that is color block. It's really cool. I like that it has the variegated, but the blocks of color as well. I came up with just a simple border. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go, you can kind of see it. Ooh. It is three double crochets, but a criss, uh, cross of a treble crochet. So I skipped a stitch, three double crochet, um, and then trebled. If that makes any sense. So that is the border. Just nice and simple corner all the way around 
I will link the Tunisian Entrelock video that I use below. Uh, it is by the Crochet Crowd. Um, his was just the easiest for me to understand and um, use. So that is that one complete, which is awesome. Um, I used, I want to say two of the yellow and two of the color, not even two of the color block. I think it was something like that. So I think it was two of each. I went ahead and bought more color block, not realizing I wouldn't need it, but that's okay. But yeah, I think I, yeah, I used two of both. So. And it's the perfect size that they wanted. Now, if you guys remember, I was working on the diagonal um, stripes baby blanket. I kept messing up. I was not enjoying it um, because I kept messing up. Not the pattern's fault by any means of the imagination. It was a great pattern. For some reason, I just kept losing track of where I was um, after putting it down for a while. It got monotonous. It was just meh. So I frogged it. I frogged all of it today. And it was, I mean, it was, you know, like this much done. And it was as wide as, it was actually a little bit wider than it needed to be. But, um, yeah. So I decided... To do something I know I will enjoy which is I believe because I haven't seen it around but for me this is my own pattern um, like I said I have not seen it around there is something similar I guess you could say um, a lot of people refer this to like the grainy spike stitch from creative grandma you have the post stitches that are up and down. Uh, when you see mine, you'll understand, hopefully, understand the difference. So this is not that pattern. I've had a lot of people say it is that pattern, and it's not. <laughs> it looks very similar, but it's not. So I call this the spin me around the granny. You are still using the number the three so you know in a granny cluster it's three so with this you're still using three so that's why I still call it a granny not just because it goes you know. so there we go you see how it spirals there you go it doesn't go vertical the other one does vertical this one actually spins which is why I call it spin me around the granny because it's almost like a pinwheel shape so you can see they go this way not up and down they go to the side almost like a almost like a V you see that close up it's hard to see close up how it does it but I just want you to see it is three. So two, and then the post stitch is the third. And for this, I'm using Big Twist Value. This is the only uh, wrapper I could find. And I couldn't find it for the other one. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. But this is Big Twist Value, the blue. And the color sky blue uh, it is 100% acrylic 380 yards 400 or 347 meters 6 ounces or 170 grams recommends a 5 I used a 6 it is a 4 weight yarn machine washable low iron do not bleach do not tumble dry, dry clean, and dry flat. It's also made in Turkey. Yeah. 
here is all the things for you. Okay. Once again, I will show it. And as you can see, so I just started today and I've already gotten really far. So here's the blue little one is just so I wouldn't pull out the stitches. And this one will represent where I was or where I am now for when, um, for next week, I show you how far I've gotten. So eventually this will be a written pattern. Um, I uh, have a friend that is willing to help me write the pattern because this one, my brain would go poof. Not the best at writing patterns, which is why it has taken me so long to write my shawl pattern, which I'm still not done with. Hopefully done soon. But yes, you can actually see the pattern a little bit better. This, not really cool. It makes hot pads, washcloths, dishcloths, anything you want to make with it. It's really quite awesome. Blankets. Probably even a pillowcase. Um, and for that, like I said, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook. So, now, I did tell you guys I don't like the brown, but I had a comment from a subscriber, which I loved. She said, look at it like it's milk chocolate and maybe you'll like using it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at it like it's milk chocolate. Just don't eat it right just don't eat it <laughs> so six millimeter crochet hook and that's it for me today that's all I got for you um, I did want to start another one like I said with me with that one I just I just kept hitting a mental block and I had to frog it and start that one so I didn't want to start two. So once I get that one somewhat done, I'll start on a different one and you guys will see that. But anyways, thank you for joining me. I will link Nancy as she's got yarn two below. I will still link the diagonal baby blanket um, pattern below. Like I said, I just, so maybe later <laughs> I can do it. Um, and then I will link the Tunisian video below. So until the next one, like I said, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. Don't forget one small act of kindness. You never know what somebody's going through. Even if it's just a simple smile or a simple hello, that may just be what they need for today. See you in the next one. Bye guys.